what's up you guys welcome back to another video another vlog kind of so in today's video i'm gonna be taking you with my mom and i to the gym she had a guest pass for her gym so i went with her and i talked about it a little bit in my last vlog but my mom is just getting back into going to the gym again. Pre-pandemic, she was going all the time. She had a trainer at one point. She just knew the ropes and how to establish a routine. But with the gym's closing and then eventually reopening, she just wants to get back into it. We did two upper body days and one leg day, and I would say that these are pretty beginner friendly, like easy to follow along and great to do with a partner. So hopefully you guys can take some inspiration from these workouts. Of course, you can modify whatever. I will be writing out the workouts in the description so that it's easy for you guys to take it to the gym if you wanna try it. Anyway, it was a lot of fun going to the gym with my mom and we had some great, great workouts this week. So enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, so for our first workout of this video, we did chest, back, and a bit of arms. This split, I guess, chest and back, is something that my mom used to do with her old trainer. So I kind of just went with it and planned around that. So we started off with a super set of bent over rows using the straight bar. We each grabbed our own and did 10 rows with a pronated grip, so palms facing down, and then immediately after switched our grip to be supinated for 10 additional rows. We did four sets of this bent over row super set. You'll be seeing mostly supersets for this video because that's personally how I like to put together my workouts and also it's just more time efficient, especially with a partner. For some chest, we have 10 dumbbell bench presses supersetted with 10 Sven presses. So you can see here, my mom is starting on the bench. Standard bench press, pretty self-explanatory. And then I'm doing the Sven press where I'm holding the weight between my palms and extending it away and back towards my chest. I'm squeezing the weight together the entire time and focusing on that slower motion going back to my chest. We then switched, so then I was on bench press and we did four sets here. Next, we are doing single arm dumbbell rows and you can't see behind me, but my mom is doing bicep curls with a straight bar. I did 10 rows on both sides and then we switched. It doesn't really matter who starts on what, you could start both at the same time, but doing opposite exercises so you end up resting at the same time. Or for example, my mom could have started with bench press while I wait and then I do my bench presses while she's on her bicep curls, which means she would be resting while I'm doing my curls. <laughs> but anyway, here I'm doing my curls and I went for 15 reps with this lighter weight. We completed this superset four times through. So far we've been alternating between pull and push exercises, so moving on we have incline dumbbell flies for the upper pec muscles, supersetted with overhead tricep extensions. 10 flies, 10 tricep extensions for four sets. And lastly, we moved over to the cable machine area. I'm starting out here with 10 seated cable face pulls. You can do these standing too, but I like the stability of sitting on the floor. This is targeting the upper back. Right after that, I did 20 body weight tricep dips on a bench. I believe my mom went for 12 to 15 tricep dips, but really depends on how you're feeling, up to you. My entire body was pretty toast after this, so 20, 20 was a burner. <laughs> but yes, four sets of this final superset will complete our first workout together. Our next lift with mama today, it's leg day and I hardly got any footage from the start, but the first thing we did was five sets of 10 leg extensions, which was also technically part of our warm up. Next, we have our first super set of the day. So we started off with 10 RDLs and for today, we actually switched off so that I would complete my entire super set and then she would do hers. That way it was like a slightly longer recovery time for each of us since these super sets literally felt like cardio. <laughs> so yeah, after my 10 RDLs, I dropped one of the weights and held one of them by my chest for 10 goblet squats. We did four sets here. Moving on, we did reverse lunges and we did not alternate. We did 10 on the right, followed by 10 on the left. We then supersetted that with some variation of a sumo deadlift slash squat. So here you can see I'm using both my dumbbells for sumo deadlifts. I did 10 reps of these and my mom opted for 10 bodyweight sumo squats. We did four sets of this. 
And lastly, we're finishing off this leg day on the hamstring curl machine. So I went for 15 reps here to really burn out my hammies and holy crap, my legs were so sore for the next few days. Four sets of 15 will wrap up my mom and I's first leg day together. Her legs were feeling wobbly <laughs> after this one, which is what I love to see. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> And we're back for another upper body day, but today we trained shoulders, arms, and ended up doing a bit of abs at the end. First exercise, we did 10 dumbbell presses. I started off with 25s and gradually made my way up to 32.5s, I think. But yes, as I went up in weight, my number of reps decreased a little bit, so it ended up being about eight to 10 presses for four sets. Our first shoulder superset for today were these two moves here. I'm starting off with 10 isometric lateral raises. So while one arm is wrapping it out, the other holds the weight up. And then while I'm doing that, my mom is doing 10 front raises with a plate. For the lateral raises, we did 10 per arm in total, but split it up into fives. So five on the right, five on the left, then back to five on the right, and then five on the left to finish. And yeah, four sets of the superset, lateral raises and front raises. We did this next superset simultaneously. So first we have 10 rainbows where our palms are facing away from our bodies and our arms are arcing out and above our heads. We're both using lighter sets of dumbbells here that we'll also be using for the next exercise. Right after the 10 rainbows, we did isometric bicep curls. So similar to the lateral raises we did earlier, while one arm is curling, the other is being held up at a 90 degree angle. And I split off the reps again into five. So a total of 10 curls per side, five on the right, five on the left, back to five on the right, and then five on the left to finish. We did that for four sets. And last super set to further burn out the biceps, we grabbed a straight bar for some 21s. Basically, it's a seven, seven, seven rep sequence where the first seven reps are the bottom half of the bicep curl, so from the bottom to the middle, and then the next seven are the top half, so the middle to the top, followed by seven full range bicep curls. These are absolutely killer, y'all. So if you've never tried these before, definitely give them a go. There happened to be one of these like decline benches next to us, so I decided to superset the 21s with some weighted decline sit-ups. I don't think I've ever done these before, and when I tell you that these wrecked me, these wrecked me. <laughs> I ended up doing 10 weighted sit-ups, dropped the weight, and then did 10 body weight sit-ups. And holy crap, my abs have not felt this sore in so long. I'm talking three days post-workout and it still hurt to sneeze and laugh and sit up. Oh my God. But yeah, four steps for the biceps and abs was pretty much our last thing for today. We were making our way out to the gym and just ended up playing around after. So I did like two sets of these hanging leg lifts while my mom tried out this stretching contraption. We both ended up trying it out. It actually felt so nice and was kind of funny. I don't know, I've never seen this before, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up our final workout together for the week. Really glad I decided to film our workouts because I didn't initially plan to make this its own separate video. But yeah, I hope you guys take some inspiration from these workouts, try them out, bring a friend, bring a partner, bring your parents, and have fun with it. Alright guys, so that is going to wrap up this video of working out with my mom for a few days. <laughs> Let me know if you try any of these workouts out. You can leave a comment down below or tag me on Instagram, send me a message, whatever. My mom and I were seriously so sore after these workouts. I don't know why. It wasn't anything like different or crazy than what I usually do. Like these are pretty standard workouts in my book, but yeah. I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Also, I'm always open to suggestions on what you guys want to see from me because I feel like I've been in a very... I've just been making the same sort of videos, which I like. I love my week in my life and I like sharing all the workouts and stuff, but I want to be doing a little bit more. So let me know. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.